Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerdlings of all ages. This is game number three of five in tonight's PUBG Community Custom Games. My name is Jorasar, and we are on Erangel for an extremely important King of the Hill. Let's go ahead and hop onto the plate and see what has in store for us. As you can see, the blue zone is there. It is ominous. It does 100 damage per second. This is where the circle is going to end. It is on a hill north of Milta. Absolutely everyone can see it from the start of the game. This is all nice and fair. You can still land far away. There are vehicles you can run in. Like, the blue zone does close, but hopefully it doesn't close that fast. Maybe if you're in Primorsk or something, you might want to be a bit worried. I don't know. But generally speaking, things are okay. Things are okay. Is that flash mob? No, it's the Molly Mercs. The Molly Mercs have gone to Gatka. We all good. It looks like that's about as far from the circle as we're going to get. Sniper of the Spud Gun Squad has opted to go south of Quarry. Are there vehicles available here? Yes, there's a buggy. There's a buggy. We Gucci. We Gucci fam. Don't even worry about it. All right. Here's something else that I didn't tell you at the start of the game. And if you're listening to this and you're in the game, mute me. Because that's just, uh, that's poor form. There are 5x drops, folks. There are a lot of planes. And those planes drop all of the crates here. So how close do you want to get? Ooh. We'll find out in just a sec. Spinner X repping the red hot chili chickens along with Mustache Sexy. Love me some Mustache Sexy. Level 3 Legends right next door. It is just Robbie. At the moment, this is just a 1v1. Are we going to get the rest of the squad coming in? I don't know. Where is Mustache Sexy? Oh, at the next compound along. That's awkward. Robbie could use some teammates right now. Oh, never mind. Robbie doesn't need any teammates right now. And that is the M4 spray. Beautiful angle from the upstairs window. Level 3 legends up to one kill. Nice way to start off their account. Babylon Goat says, I'll die to the blue if nobody does. Rigger chimes in with, I've died in some of the weirdest ways, but I can confirm Rigger has died in some of the weirdest ways possible. The Bandage Kings have decided to drop themselves off to loot a little bit more. Uh, at this farm compound before they continue moving on. Absolutely taking everything they possibly can out of this building, which is fine. I presume they'll then be moving into the next building. And that is where they will encounter a sexy surprise! Mustache sexy. Did he hear them behind him? He did not hear him behind him. He was too busy reloading, trying to finish the knock. And the Bandage Kings will be able to get the revive up onto Rapesk. But I have to say, Mustache Sexy should probably have gotten a double kill there. That was Forch, as they say. Is the Blue Zone moving yet? I think it is. Yes, it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, this Blue Zone here, if you go into it, you're dead. That's it. You're done. Absolutely done. So you don't want that to hit you. Murban Rigger on Ferry Pier. That's fine. They probably don't want to rotate to Millie Island. That's my um free bit of advice that we've got a little bit of a battle going on for Pachinki. It's the level three legends. They're involved in battles on two fronts at the moment. They're fighting against the Bloon team. Vex, Coldy, Ziggleton, and Robbie. Robbie, I believe, is absolutely nowhere close to this, so consider these guys a three-person squad. And we've got Hackshots. Hackshots, Fury, and Fraud. Noxious, 69. Knocked Ant out of the game. They trade for Coldy. And Fraud at the moment. Down but not out at ground level. Hasn't got much in the way of hardcover except for a broken wall. The level 3 legends should know exactly where he is, but they're busy trying to get revived themselves. Ziggleton managing to spot a delightful off angle. Robbie 
Yeah, okay, we talk about Robbie another time. Uh, Coldy's still down. Vax and Ziggleton holding the fort. Is anyone interested in rezzing Coldy? Let's find out. Robbie, yeah, there you go. Nice spray into the window, but doesn't connect enough to get a knock, unfortunately. Ziggleton needing to move back slightly. Maybe the SLR would have been the better choice there for spamming into that window. I don't know. Does get some damage done, though, so who am I to talk? Let's see if he can follow it up. Looking for Fury, looking for hack shots. Hack shots has been seen on the roof. Getting absolutely hard peaked there. Hack shots with some excellent shots. Fury able to get fraud as well. Coldy is up. Robbie in the house next door. Fairly critical. Oh, he sees Fury. That was critical. Robbie knows about the route Fury is taking right now. He's to the left side. Coldy gets knocked again. Fury up top. Is Robbie going for the peak? He's thinking about it. Oh! He left it a little bit too long, but somehow still managed to get the knock. Oh my god, that's a beautiful double from Robbie. Headshot onto Fraud as well. And now... Hackshot's is great at doing damage. Is he going to be able to rescue his teammates as well? Yes, he is. That's a disgustingly good frag grenade. We absolutely rag on Hatshots all the time on this channel. But can we be honest? That was so good. Gets the knock. Is he going for the flush? He's not even going for the flush. He's prioritizing saving his teammate. This is... No, okay, he's going for the flush. I was like... Where's Toxic Shots? Oh, he's here. So he could have revived his teammates by now. Instead, what he's going to do is let one of his teammates die and he's going to go down to 12 HP to try and chase a knock. Okay. Vintage Hack Shots is back, guys. Hack Shots is back. That's the player we know. Is Fury even going to get revived? He is, right? He is. Okay. <laughs> Hack shots just did the most calm, good, mature thing I think any player could have done in that situation. And then he went and proved to us that he is still Hack shots at the end of the day. I love it. Absolutely love it. Hack shots and Fury now down to a duo. Robbie has been revived. Ziggleton and Vex there. Does that mean Colby is down and out? Colby is down and out. Fury gets headshot on top of the single story. Immediate Molotov. Saved by the railing. If that hit the door, I think Fury would be on fire right now. But the railing has saved him. Hack shots now with the 1v3. Luna gets a tag. They're rushing in. Oh, hack shots close the door. That's the, uh, that's the hard counter. Vex. Beautiful knock there on the railing. I don't know why he was trying to jump out. Oh my god, Hackshots gets two. Is he going to redeem himself by getting the third? He could. And he's actually going for the revive. What? I'm slightly surprised. Robbie should be able to get Ziggleton back up. Uh, Vex is first knock as well. Fury instantly leaping. Robbie and Hackshots more or less back to back. Fury bleeding uh, at a pace that I can only describe as furiously, but Hackshots gets the three kills. This is unreal. Vintage Hackshots somehow turns it around. And he's got, look, this guy's got the ADR. We can troll his decision making as much as we want. He's got the ADR. He's got the aim. And that is three kills to Hackshots. Wow. Team Bloon win the battle of Pachinki. Love to see it. Are there people close to the edge of the blue? There are not. People being relatively sensible. And that's because there have been drops in circle. Comms, comms, comms. Looking for a place to call home. They are next to... What is Squa Squa? It's the Spud Gun Squad. No, it's... It's Sug Squa. Which makes a lot more sense. And it looks like they're getting aggressed upon here. Comms, comms, comms. Exhibiting significantly better comms than we saw earlier on. Jurgo is currently on fire. Which is a minor inconvenience at the best of times. 
Pemi is down and out. Nades coming out both sides. That is an excellent... I Wait, was that one of their flashbangs that bounced back? Or was that an excellent flashbang from whoever's inside? I can't tell. More flashes inside. Monster going upstairs. Great dropping to the floor. Spotting someone in the corner. That's Abs knock. Get Thirsted Bro down as well. This is very, very good. Where's Matty? Oh, he's in the next building. That's a 1v3 now, unfortunately. Spud gun squad. Oh, sniper. Where's, where on earth is the sniper's in a glider? Well, that's awkward. I guess these guys aren't helping each other out that directly. We now need to see what Maddie can do. We have seen uh, a 1v3 about six times this game already. The fact that the one in all of those six times was hack shots is irrelevant. He managed to get the three points in the end. So maybe we'll see the same from Matty here and the Spud Gun Squad. Scar's been buffed. It's possible. I just think they're not interested. They're almost rudely not interested. Here comes the glider. Oh. You know what? Oh! landing might have stayed up there mate well that is a very awkward indeed not 100 percent sure what matty does to get back from this we'll wait and see 200 iq in the meantime they've got crates upon crates upon crates there are two more here that's an orm which is disgusting that's an mg3 which is also disgusting and nobody else to contest Except Rigor and Merb. But they've got one here. There's enough to share. And that's an Orm as well. Oh, there's going to be some delightful shenanigans when this circle closes in. I'm telling you that. Everyone getting into zone now. Lots and lots of action here. Let's go ahead and hop on board with the happy hopping hippos. They need to pick a compound. Both of these compounds very much active at the moment. We go back to Matty. Oh my god! That's beautiful! Matty finishes one, knocks a second. Absolutely astounding stuff. He only has smokes now, though. And has to deal with mortar fire as well. Excuse me. Flash it. Oh, Matty, this is beautiful. Almost gets it. Matty nearly makes the 1v3 work as it stands. He finished one and knocked a second. Scoopy's going to get revived. But Matty, what a play that was. That was absolutely delightful. Where on earth are these mortars coming from? Talk to me. I see you. That's actually really quite scary good. And who is doing that, pray tell? That's going to be the Bandage Kings. Absolutely delightful stuff. MG3 as well. Ropes. Absolutely disgusting weapon. Nine teams, 27 left alive at the 14 minute mark. We have a potential kerfuffle in shelter as well. Blue house on yellow mark are outside. And the Molly Mercs are inside. Uh, the goddamn campers, were, I believe, were... Oh, no. Are they the Happy Hoppy Hippos? Yes, they were. They were inside a compound. It looks like two of them died outside. Getting caught out just a little bit. That was Hunry and Kill Switch. Allowing Wacko Taco and Ginger Clown and Tasley to take this compound or the wacko taco getting absolutely domed to one hp being reminded that it is not all rose gardens in that compound just winning that fight doesn't guarantee you the game still a long long way to go here in king of the hill in the meantime more and more crate weaponry i think that's been looted yeah it has Merb and Rigger poking up towards this compound, but there are actually two members of 200 IQ. 
in this compo. We've got Leroy Satan and Madzell. They're looking at all sorts of directions at the moment. And they've got some beautiful weapons with which to look. And I think some of this has already been spotted. They should see the level 3 helmets. They should see the crate weapons. That should give them pause. Nope, nope it doesn't. They just start firing. That works too. Leroy Satan goes down to the SLR of Merb. Well shot. Oh! And the reply is to knock Rigger by the looks of things. Gets him with the headshot on that last bullet from that spray. Both sides are going to have to reset. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Merb gets spotted from elsewhere. And was it Astro that got the kill there? Oh. As I said, was it Astro that got the kill there? Yes, it was. Okay. And that's with the AWM as well. So unfortunately, that's Rigger and Merb out of the game. Despite having a decent amount of crate weaponry as well. Most compounds taken relatively safe at the moment. The main question is going to be how they move out. In 1 minute and 30 seconds, this zone starts shrinking even further. It's going to end up here. Everyone on the edge is going to have to move in. Remember, the zone does 100 damage per second. Was that Ginger Clown? Was that Tazzy? Was that Luna? Who was that? I think it was Ginger Clown because he's just picked up an orc again. Some very good mortar shots in this game, I have to say. Unfortunately, we haven't had a knock from a mortar yet, but it's been excellent. Zone now very, very close to pushing back in. Blue House on yellow mark. They're not in a compound. They are they're free range chickens, as it were. Moving out just south of prison. Revelation manages to get Psycho Viking. Got 200 IQ here. Could be gearing themselves up for a full on commitment. Everyone's rushing back to revive. With the M249, this could be absolutely disgusting. Kale Gaming's been spotted in the distance. There are four frag grenades here. I love them getting thrown with the M249 and just peppering the smoke. Are we doing damage yet, he asks. Oh. No, the Orm's doing damage. The M249, whatever. I'll do in one bullet what you couldn't do in 150. That is rough. Blue House on Yellow Market now very much in crisis mode. I'm surprised they didn't go uh, further up and use the frag grenades, but you also don't need to at this point. Psycho Viking gets taken out as well. Kale Gaming, the only player left alive. That was a really good engagement from 200 IQ. Madzell's off angle there is pretty sick from the Wizard Tower. Oh, I beg your pardon. Stardust is still alive all the way down the hill. Didn't even see them. Mustache, sexy mustache says put money on rigor. Unlucky, mate. <laughs> Kale Gaming crawls into the smoke. Should be able to get revived. Madzel not quite able to finish. Ginger Cloud dies to the blue. Docmo dies to the blue. All right. People die to the blue zone in King of the Hill. It has happened. And the regulars are the ones it's happened to. That's awkward. Wacko Taco's running in like he knows what he's doing. That's fine. Hack Shots and Co. Relatively close to the blue in Milter here. Uh, fraud. Might want to have a think about what's going on. The zone's going to immediately move. Do these guys realize? Noxious 69 dies to the blue! 
Blue House and Yellow Market eliminated. But right now, we're looking at the biggest killer in the game. It's the Blue Zone. 100 Jew. Dies to the blue! Now, Patrick, uh, we've got questions to ask Patrick. Ropesk and Antoshka have to move, and they have to move very, very quickly indeed. There can be no lurking around. A lot of blue zone fatalities here. Patrick looks for Wacko, gets Wacko Taco, to be fair. That's an excellent shot there from the Mark 12. Needs to not stay in this building. Needs to not stay in this building! Oh dear god, and that's Patrick dying to the blue. We now have the blue versus the Bandage Kings. Fury and hack shots left up as Fraud gets knocked. It's one knock apiece, so it's a trade each way. Ropesk doesn't look like he's going to get revived. And Oh, that's so close. I was about to eat my words there. Very close. The frag grenade to do it for them. Fury finishes this team. I think fraud has to be left now. Back shots and fury need to keep moving. I think they know this. I think they know this. Do they know this? I hope they know this. I think they know this. Yes, they do. 35 seconds left to go. The Molly Mercs. The Molly Mercs. The Molly Mercs. And that's and 182, a dead to the blue. De Gurk probably needs to keep moving as we move towards the center of the zone. This is going to get messy. Tom, Tom, Tom's right in the middle of it. Scoopy managed to get that De Gurk so close to going down. Has to pause for a moment, and that's going to be it. Bloon eliminated. It's Comps, Comps, Comps versus 200 IQ right now. Madzel versus Scoopy in the middle of the circle. It's a 1v1. Grows out 19 bullets. What can we do? He's right next to him. And they both. Died. Wow. That's it. It's Scoopy who gets the kill. Must have died something like one frame before Madzel. But that was an insane end to a King of the Hill. Everyone was looking at everything except the blue zone. Classic. Absolutely love it.